Welcome everybody to another MBW Champion Plays some Sudoku. Just notice uh, it's a little. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not centered. I'm not centered. But hey, welcome to uh, another um, fantastic time of uh, some playing some puzzles, um, doing some cool um, figuring out using your brain. Um, I found this uh, this puzzle and I thought it would be interesting. Um, it actually seems a little hard, so hopefully I can get through this one. Um, and uh, yeah, let's go through the rules and then I'll, I'll, I'll let you know what, 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 what you can do. So this puzzle right here, it's called 15 Cages. It's normal Sudoku rules apply, which means every column, every row, and every grid has the numbers 1 through 9 um, in there. I can't repeat within the... Um, the row column or, or grid. Normal Sudoku rules. Uh, but there's fog everywhere. So correctly placed digits clear the fog around them. So say, for example, if I was to put this digit in, anything that's around that will get revealed. So um, not necessarily the number, but basically um, if there's like, say, for example, these cages right here, I might see like a cage uh, right here. Um, and, uh, you know, it'll reveal itself. <laughs> wow. Um, the grid contains exactly 15 cages. So there's uh, these cages right here that are with dotted lines. Um, there's 15 of them within the entire fog um, board. Interesting. Um, they do not overlap, so none of them can go, you know, into any... Um, you know, cross basically, or this one goes this way. Um, and each um occupy two or more cells. Okay, so it can't be like a one cell, for example. Digits cannot repeat within the cage. So, say for example, if this was here, um, I can't have like a one and a one here because then it's repeating within the cage. Uh, digits cannot, or wait, no, I already read that one. Um, not all cage sums are given. Oh, that's messed up. <laughs> so we might find a, like when we reveals the, the fog, there might be a cage that doesn't have a, a clue or of uh, what it sums up to be. So that's messed up. Um, but sums are located on the leftmost cell in the highest row reached by a cage. Let me read that again. Uh, sums are given on the leftmost cell. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So, say for example, if this... Just pretend that this 15 wasn't here. If this was like this, like this cage went like this. On the highest row, on the on the left hand side, it's going to show the the sum. So if this was like this, for example, that wouldn't work because the highest row, that means the 15 should have been listed here and not here. However, if it went this way. Um, this is the highest row, so that is the leftmost. So, example, you know, this can be, this could be a cage, for example, but it can't go up because then the 15 should be up here, on the upper left. Um, two cages of the same size cannot have the same sum. Oh, that's interesting. That means, since we have a whole bunch of 15s, none of these are the same size cages. Uh, like, if this was 2, this would have to be 3, and this would have to be 4, for example. That's interesting. Okay. Um, that's probably going to be, like, the biggest thing that we're going to have to solve for, by the way. Um, okay. Okay. Regardless of whether the cage's sum is different. Oh, wait. Two cages of the same size cannot 
have the same sum, regardless of whether either cage's sum is given. Okay. So if one of the sums is not given, we at least know, like say for example, there's one that's like here and it's a three. Um, and this was a three. We know that this can't be a 15 because it's already been taken here by that three. That's, that's what that's saying. Um, digits in cells that with a shaded circle must be odd. Okay, so there's going to be somewhere in this puzzle that there's a circle, and those have to be an odd number. Uh, digits in cell separated by a black dot has a 1 to 2 ratio. So uh, this dot right here, if we're just looking at this one, if this is a 1, a 1 to 2 ratio means that this would be a 2. Um, if this was a um, 8, that means this would have to be a 4 because of 1 to 2 ratio. Uh, and then, yeah, find more puzzles on at this website. Heck, yeah. If you guys like puzzles like this, do it. Um, so the description, um, in the description on this uh, below this video that it gets uploaded, I'm going to have the link to the to this puzzle. So if you do want to do the puzzle um, yourself, um, go ahead and I'm going to move this screen over here. Sorry, I'm, I'm distracting myself. It's ADD. Um, go ahead and open up the open it basically. Yeah, click on the, on the puzzle. There we go. That's what I was trying to say. Click on the puzzle, play it for yourself. Um, if uh, or unless you want to just see me fail at this, this is going to be great. This this would be good times. See how fast I can do this puzzle. Um, but yeah, you can, um, you know, play along with me. You can pause my video, do the do the video and um, or do the puzzle. See how fast we could do it. I like doing the racing. Like, ah! uh, but uh, no, I think I think this puzzle will be fun. Um, so uh, go ahead and go ahead and play if you'd like. But if not, let's watch me fail. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to restart it because it says I've been doing this for six minutes. Sorry about that. Well, let's do this. All right. So. Really quick, I just want to start here because I think it's going to be interesting because there's two dots right here. So that means these, at least these two, um, these three cells need to have a one to two ratio with each other. Meaning, so say for example, if this is a one, this would have to be a two and then this would have to be a four. And it would have to go like in, the, in that kind of realm, but it would go the opposite way as well, right? Um, but this can also be a two, this could be a four, and then this can be an eight and then vice versa. This can be an eight and this could be a four and then this can be a two. So in other words, the only digits that you can have in this location right here is a two or a four. So I wanted to kind of point that out because I feel like because these are 15, I bet you there's going to be some sort of like, um, um, we're going to have to have like ones or twos and stuff. So I just want to make sure we highlight that before we move on to another one. All right. So these need to be multiple. These need to be different sizes, right? Because it has 15. So every single one of these has a different size. I'm just going to highlight these so we can kind of see like the individual boxes so far, because we know that it has to at least be two um, for a cage, but the dotted lines is saying it at least goes into these realms right here, right? So, if this needs to be four digits, I'm just going to start there. If this needs to be four digits, I 
think I, I thought of something right. <laughs> but I'm just going to say this first, and then I'll go to what I thought. If this is going to be four digits, that means it's going to block this, right? So this would be our two. This would be our four. But what this can't be is it can't go past this because this yellow right here is here. That means it has to go here or down here, right? But this yellow goes here, so and they can't overlap. So, so this would be a four. But if I said that this is a four, that means that can't be a four. So this could be a two, four, three. But what I'm wondering is um, if they all are contained, like if I have this, right? So that matches four, two, three. So at least they're different, um, different uh, lengths. But we know the grid equals forty-five, which is, which is actually fifteen plus fifteen plus fifteen. So that works. However, let's just say that this was, uh, you know, like a a nine and a six, right? Where would I put the seven? Because this would have to be. This would have to be three digits. Or not seven. I was going to say eight. Because eight is the like the highest number other than nine, right? So like, where would I put the. Where would I put that? So like, if I put an eight here, it has to be three more digits. I can't put a seven here, so seven has to go here. So I'm trying to get it where like this is three and this is four, and it's already kind of breaking a little bit. Um, if this is eight, let's just say six. Yeah, six would have to go here. So if it went here, then this, that would already be 13, and we only have two digits here, and it can't be in a one and a one, so that's where that is. Um, so this is already 14, um, and if I if this was a three digit anyways, um, that would make this the one. So the rest of the numbers, five, four, Oh wait, the six is right here. Never mind. My bad, my bad. My bad. Go back, go back. Cancel, cancel. This is a five, sorry. Um, and then this is a four. Because we already have the six here. Um, Alright, so if this is 13, then this would be a two. Let me see, and the 11... 12. Oh, that actually does work. Interesting. Well, I was actually going to, I was actually thinking that that may have not worked, but it actually did work pretty good. That might be our solution. Um, but, Let's see if we can do it outside of that. So if this was, I can also have this be the four, this be the two, this be the three. That does work. Can this extend, like if this is two, this is four, this is three. Oh, that happens too. Okay. So this is working in, when it's within the cage. Can I have it exit the cage though? That's the that's the key. If it exits the only way to exit Yeah, I wouldn't say that it would be this because then it would be like 15 15 and then this would be out 15 so then this 
uh, cell wouldn't be 45. So the only way to get out here is this. But then you get run into the same thing. That means that this is 15, this is 15, but the outside is not um, included. So that means this wouldn't be 45. So these are actually all contained, meaning this cell right here never gets um, any of these uh, cages. Like these cages never come outside. They all are contained within this realm. So this is going to be our two, like one of these are going to be the two, one of these are going to be a three, and one of these are going to be the four, meaning this is a five cage. That's what that means. Because again, can't be two, can't be three, can't be four. So this has to be a five cage. We know that it can't go down because it can't go right because we already had this filled in cages can't overlap. It can't go down though. Well, actually, it might be able to go down. Actually, it might be able to go down. I was going to say because it can actually split like this could be a cage, for example. Um, well, this could be a cage, for example. Um, oh, yeah, okay. Nice. Um, but it has to be at least five. The one thing that we do know is that it can't overlap here because we don't have a cage over here. So, so that's um, key. What I'm trying to figure out is we know that it can't go up here because if it went up here, then it would be the highest row and the upper left would have the the digit, but the digits right here. So that means this is the highest upper left, meaning it can't go up here. So in other words, it's going to play around here somewhere. And I, I know I extended that too far, but, but in other words, you just can't go on this top row. Because of that, does this need to go outside of here? Or can it be all contained here? My my guess is it can't be contained within this cage or this grid. And the reason why I say that is because if there's five digits in this sum and it's equal to 15, the only five digits that you can sum to 15 is one plus two plus three plus four plus five. However, we said that this is either a two or a four. But if this is a two or a four, there's no cage around this. Meaning, if these digits are in here, the two and the four have to be within this cage. But this is saying that it's not. So, that means it exits here so that you can have that two or four that's not in this cage. So, I at least know that it goes this way. So that's one, two, three, four. We at least know it goes this way. In order for it to get out, it does have to come here. It can't go down here and then here, because then that's more than five digits. So this would be... This would be the cage right here. And we know... Again, this is, you know, one of these are two, one of these are three, one of these are four. We know it has to be five because, again, you can't have a six cage 15 sum because, again, the only digits that you can add to um, a five digit is literally one plus two plus three plus four plus five. And so that would mean there would have to be a six in there. And that's a 21 cage, not, not a 15. So this for sure is our 15 cage. Meaning, this is our 2 or 4. This can never be an 8. So this can't be an 8, 4, 2. Can it still be a 2? No. No, it can't be a 2. Um, 
So there's going to be a five. Actually, I'm just going to put them all in there really quick. This has to be the one, two, three, four, five, right? So if this digit has to be this digit. Can this be a one or a four? No, it can't. Because the one or four has to be here in order for that to, to work. <clears throat> yeah, that works totally. Okay, so there we go. So this is our eight. Because again, this can't be a one or a four because the one or a four is, has to be in here. Because again, we know that this digit equals this digit. So if this is our four, that means this is our four. So that means that can't be a four, in other words. Um, so that is our, that's our thing. So this is an eight. And there we go. Since we did get the, the correct digit, it shows everything around here. Um, a one to two, that means that this is a four. And then this is a two. I'm going to clean this up a little bit. Um, but again, we know that this digit was going to equal to this, so this is a four. And we know that this is the one, two, three, um, uh, triple right here. So I'm just going to fill in the other ones that they can be. So this is going to be a... Um, my eyes twitching for some reason. There's going to be a six, seven, and nine. Ooh, look at an eight right here. We have another um, uh, one, two right here, which is great. Oh, actually, check this out. I'm going to just kind of talk this through just so you guys can visualize this as much as I can, um, I do. So I'm going to put numbers in here that can't be. I just want to kind of visualize it and show it. So this right here, the only numbers that you can do one through nine, that is a one to two ratio is one, two, three, four, six, and eight. Those are the digits that, that it can be, right? If there's a, a black dot. We know that the two and the four are seeing this. So I'm going to get rid of the two and the four here. And since the eight, the only way you can get a ratio in that is um, a four and the four is already seeing this. That means this can't be an eight. Same thing with the one. The only way you can get a one two ratio is to have one and two. Hey, hey love each other. Hey, hey, come on. My cat's uh, fighting for some reason. Um, hey, hey. Anyways, in other words, you can't have a one. So this is our three, six right here, which means this is not a three, which means this is our three up here. Looks like we're getting more clues as this is going. This is great. Um, all right, I'm, since this is an eight cage, I just want to kind of fill this in. Um, this is going to be a five or a two. We don't know just yet what it is. Um, and then here, since we have a three, six and 15, um, I'm just going to kind of put the numbers here just so that we're aware of like what this is going to be in the future. Uh, but this is going to be a, um, seven, eight or a nine here. Okay. Therefore, um, eight has to go up here. If eight is up here, we don't have a clue on what this cage is yet. What I do want to say that though, is it can't be a 15. So, if this is an eight, if it's an eight, that means that this can't be a seven. In other words, because then it would be a 15 cage. 
and we already have a two uh, length 15 gauge. I think that's all I can really say for right now. <laughs> I don't know if I can I can deduct that like this has to be an absolute eight um, because we have that one over here. So, um, yeah, okay. Uh, let's see another clue then. Um, we know the four is going to be up here. Mm. You know, the three is going to be down here. If, if this is a two, two go to, two goes down there, but if it's a five, five goes down there. Um, trying to see if there's any like deduction on like what that means, but I don't think I don't think it's necessarily saying anything. So okay. Nine. I'm wondering if nine. Hmm. Huh. Not like any like rules that I'm like missing, right? Nope, shaded. No, we're good. Let's just do this. Let's just put in what numbers all these can be, right? This can always, all of them could be a one. We can have a, a two um, anywhere. We can have a three down here. Oh, wait, no, not three. Sorry. Threes are on the second row. Um, we can have a five, though. Might be asking why I'm doing this, but I, I, I promise there'll be a, a reason. Um, s here, this could be a seven. Top ones can be an eight, and the rest of it could be a nine. Okay. What I'm trying to determine is. Should I do it over here too? Eh. Eh, whatever. Um, what I'm trying to determine is um, if whatever this number is right here. Oh, no, it's not true. Ah, dang it. I was going to say, whatever this number is, it has to be up here. But that's not necessarily true, because the 6, if it's a 6, it could go up here. Damn, I was trying to... Was trying to say something there, but it didn't work out. Um... This is a two. 
this is a six, this is a three. No, that totally works. Okay. Oh, you know what? This is where I need to focus. So I did say that earlier, I did say that if there's a nine, it should be accompanied with the six. Because the highest should be the, the double cage. Let's prove if that's true. Because if it's not true, or if it is true that, that that has to be the case, that means one of these is a six, is a nine six, which mean, would mean that none of these could be a six, which means this would be a six. So we would at least get a little further down the list, right? So can we have a six that's down here? Or can we have a nine that is in a three cage, in other words? So. That would mean. If I don't have the nine and six, what else is the two cage? It's an eight or a seven. But I said that the eight and seven are here. So the six does have to go up here. Bam. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. I'll say that one more time just in case uh, um, it wasn't like clear. So the only two digit cells that you can make into 15 is either going to be um, 9 plus 6 or it's going to be 8 plus 7. We said that the 8 and the 7 are both in this row. So how can you have a 2 cage that has a 7 and an 8 up here? Any of these when I said that the seven and eight are down here. So that means it's not an eight and seven. It has to be a nine, six um, adding, because that's the only way that you can get a two cage. So six is up here. That means um, sixes are not here. And so the six is down here. And there we go. We found our, we found, we found it. We found it guys. We did it. So this is our nine, this is our six, um, and then this is our three cage. All right, get rid of uh, some of these bookmarks, the bookmarks. Um, nice, ooh, look at that. We have a 17 cage, which means that there does that does have to be a uh, eight or a nine. Since we see the nine right there, we know that this is our eight, and this is our nine. We have another seventeen. Interesting. So this is like a, a thirty-six right here. Um, when you uh, add seventeen plus seventeen, um, sorry, not thirty-six, thirty-four. Man, I can't math apparently. Um, 34, so that means that this has to be 11. Um, and so the only digits that you can have for 4 is 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 5. That's our... Um, that's how you would equal 11 with 4 digits which would make this a um, 4 plus 6 plus 7. Let me just say that's right. 4 plus 6 is 10, plus 7 is 17. Perfect. Cool. All right, so now we know what digits are going to be around here. We know that if you have a 1 to 2 ratio right here, um, it can't be a seven because seven can't have a one to two. Um, if it's a six, that would make this a three. 
And if it's a 4, that would make it a 2. So, um, in other words, this is the only digits that can be up on this one. Cool. All right. Where do I want to go next? I want to see if we could finish this. Just hopefully we can. Can this be a seven? That's what I'm trying to wonder. If this is a seven. Because I would assume that the higher a number is going to be in the in the bigger cage. But if this is a seven. And we had like um Like seven, eight, five, three. So that's equal that. So this would be the eight, two, one, four. That actually does work out. So this can be a seven. Okay. Yeah, it could, t it could totally be a seven. Um, I feel like it could be an eight too. So like, if this is an eight. Like eight four three seven two one five. Oh yeah, see that works out too. Okay, so let's just leave this be it because it's it is working. Um, tag that over here. Um, all right, seven nine can't be that because this is seeing these. Um. Any digits over here that no looks good. I'm going to label that both down here. There has to be at least a seven or a nine up here. I'm not seeing not saying where like this has to be like do we need to focus on this let me go back to this if this is an eight like if it's an eight eight plus seven would make a 15 so we know that this can't be an eight seven what about an 8, 9? Because that would make it 17. We do already have a 17. So, in other words, this can't be an 8. Wow! It actually wanted us to deduct, deduct that. So this can never be an 8, which means this is our, our 8. That was a cool deduction. And then this means that this is our 2. Because uh, 10, uh, 2 plus 8. Um, that was a really cool puzzle setup. I didn't think it was going to go that route, um, which is why I wasn't really like looking at that cage, but like I felt like there was no other clues to go to. That was top tier amazing uh, um, puzzle 
right there. <laughs> like I'm actually super impressed with that one. That one's that one's really good. Anyways, I'm gonna label all of them that it can be, and I'm gonna deduct it. Um, so this can't be a two, uh, which means that there can not be a one. So these are gonna be our options of what um, this can be. In other words. Um, can this be a three six? No, because there's a three and a six here. Because if you had both three and six in this column, that means how is this going to be either a three or a six? Can't be. So this is not a three or a six. So this is going to be a four or eight. Since this cage right here is in a um, an eight, um, that means that can't be an eight. So this is our four, and then this is our eight. So we're definitely getting, uh, you know, more, more of the board revealed, which is great. Oh, look at that. Oh, wait, let's fill this in. Let's just continue filling it in. So this has to be a three out here because it's the one to two ratio. Um, this, based on the rules, this has to be a odd, right? Digits in a cell. Yeah, has to be odd. So that means this can't be our two. So no two. Uh, this is a one to two ratio right here. So we know that it can't have a five in it. Um, if this is a one or a two, if it's a one, that this means that this is going to be a two. It also could be a one if it's a, so if this is a two, this could be a one or it could be a four. We don't know. We don't know. Um, cool. All right. So we know that this is the four because now that we have a couple of these things right here, we know that this is a four. Oh, cool. This four automatically like, like clean that one up like right away. Um, let's get rid of that. Um, okay. So we know that that's the four. Ooh, we have like a triple right here. That shows that that's great. Okay. So five, one, two, one. Dang. I feel like we got on a flow. Look at that. That was great. As I say that, I'm probably going to jinx jinx this whole thing. It's all jinx now. <laughs> no. Um, I'm going to uh, pencil mark a couple things um, just because, uh, you know, we got a lot of numbers revealed. So I want to make sure that we um, kind of make sure that some of these are labeled. Um, actually, this eight right here. Since this... Uh, it has to be four, in other words, it has to be a one three because it can't be two plus two. Um, one because you can't duplicate, and then also there's a two in the grid, so this is a one three right here. Um, since this is a one three, this one sees here. Um, We have a two cell, we have a three cell, so that means there has to be four somewhere here, or five actually. Oh wait, wait, wait! This is a seventeen two. Look at that one or two, three, four. So this actually has to have five digits. Oh man, um, let me highlight that. So we know that that this can't go up because this has to be the upper left um, most clue. So now we know that it doesn't go up here. So it's either going to... Look at that. We don't know... We at least, we at least know that, it, that these touch the 17. It can't go anywhere else, or we don't know that it absolutely go because it could go here, it could go here, and it could go here. We don't know, but we at least know it's a five, um, five or six, um, on there. So that's that's really cool. That's neat. Okay. Uh, can we do something here? Uh, we have three the 17 so this has to equal 14 
if this is a 14, that means that you know, this would be a 9. Actually, I'll just label these. Um, a 9-5. can't be an 8-6 because the 6 and the 8 are seeing this right here so it can't be 8-6 um, what about 7 no actually because then it would have to be 7 plus 7 um, so that's it yeah this has to be the 9-5 there could be no other digits that this can be Nice. Okay. So nine five. Once you look at that, um, <laughs> I'm very happy with that. All right. So let's uh, put all the digits here except the three and the six, um, and then we'll clean it up. All right. So this can't be a one. All right. So we know that this has to be this in some um this fashion um i was gonna say does it always have to have a two in it but no it could be a four eight so okay all right cool ah uh, okay we know that the five is saying this so that we know the five has to be in here somewhere Um, three it could be in any of these two. Two, it could be in it. The two has to be in here. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to see like what numbers actually have to be in the green one. And can we deduct if something has to be in the orange one? So we know that the, that this either has a seven or eight, but it has to have a two or five in it. Um, what else? What about the one? Ooh, the one does have to be in here. Nice. Okay. And if that's the case, I, I think the five the five and the ones have to have to be in here. So so five one five one get rid of the cancel markings. So the five and the one um, have to go there. So six needs to be here. And we know that this is a two because blam. Um, so two. Oh, we already have two five right here, anyways. Kind of cleaned that up a long time ago. So since this uh, means that the one has to be in here, I'll just put that so we can kind of see that. That means that this is the five, this is the one. And seven plus one is eight. That means that this is a seven. This is an eight. Twelve plus three. Bam. That's three in the corner. That's three in the spot. Light. Losing my religion. Okay, we can actually um, label all these. So I'm going to like put them in here really quick. So... Uh, so this is going to be a 2-8 combo right here. This is going to be a 3-4 combo right here. And this is going to be a 6-7. Excellent. All right. So now, because we did all that, all that, all that, it means that we, like, we have to do something with the cages. Like there's there's something here to do the rest of the puzzle. Um, I'm gonna start here really quick, just to see if this can be determined. I don't think so, but let's just uh, just double check at least. So this is a seven. This is either a nine or a twelve. We don't have any other cages with a nine or a twelve, so. That's totally doable. Um, and this is either 11 or 14, and we don't have any of that. So, okay, actually, this is not where we do the 
the puzzle right now. So one thing that this is showing though is it can't be a one because of Sudoku. Um, it can't be a two because then that would be a ten, and we already have a two-digit um, ten right there, so it's not a two. It could be a three because we don't have an eleven cage yet. Can't be a four because Sudoku. Can't be five because of the Sudoku. If it's a six, that means that this would need to be a fourteen. We don't have a fourteen um, digit here, so this can be a six. It can't be a seven because then that would be a seventeen cage. Or sorry, a 15 cage, and um, we already have a two-digit one. Um, can't be an eight because there's already an eight, and it can't be a nine because then that would be a 17 um, cage, and we already have a two-digit one right there. So this only possibility that it can be is a three or a six, meaning that we have the three and the six right here in this column. So that means the rest of these are not a three or a six. Do I want to label everything? I'm just going to do it just because of the hell of it. Um, this this is uh, either going to be a 1, 7, 9, but this 9 is here, so I'll clean it in just a second. Um, so, in other words, these are the possible digits that can be here. Since the 1 and 3 is here in this grid, this has to be our 7. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on. I accidentally did something wrong. It's still going to kind of work out the same way. I totally for I totally missed this. I was just looking at these. I was like, there's only four. I totally forgot about this one. Sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. In other words, this could perhaps be a two up here. And then these can be a five. Why don't I try to put or uh, go further than I did? Um, either way, the same principle applies here. This can't be a one. What I try, what I'm trying to do is, I'm just trying to say, can this have? Um, I'm trying to deduct this because I'm trying to see what can go on the seventeen. My thought is it shouldn't be able to get a nine and maybe it still can't hear me out let's let's try this if this was a nine so let's just say I'm a nine that means that the rest of the the grid or the um, cage has to equal eight. Since we know that it had has to be at least five, five numbers in this um, cage. That means there's four digits that have to equal that sum. So nine plus, you know, minus 17 is eight. Can you have four digits? Four or five digits that equal eight. No. Because four digits together, minimum is going to be equal to ten. So in other words, this right here isn't going to be equal to a nine. Because one, two, th wow, yeah, because ten... Seven. So any in, in other words, there's not gonna be an eight or a nine in this grid. I mean in this cage. So forget about that being a nine. R9 absolutely has to be here. I'll clear that out. So if there's not an eight in it. Okay, you seeing this. Where does the eight go here? It would have to be here. So 
What about the nine? Nine. Nine could go here. And again, it can have a seven. It, it, it's tricky to have a seven, but it can have a seven. Because that means the other digits would have to be a one, two, three. Um, yeah. It does have to have a one, though. Because if there's no one and there has to be five digits, that would be... 2 plus 3 plus 4, which is 9, plus 5, 14, plus 6. Yeah, so it definitely has to have a 1. It has to have a 2 in it, too. It does have to have a 2 in it. This might be the key. Because we know that the 2 has to go at least here. This is not in the cage. So let's see. Can it have can it not have a two? So that means the minimum is a one plus three, which is four, plus four, which is eight, plus five, which is thirteen, plus six, which is nineteen. Let me do that again. One plus three is four, plus four is eight. Plus 5 is 13, plus 6 is 19. So it does have to have a 2 in it. Meaning, this is not our 2, this is our 2. And now we have it. So, we know that this right here has to be an odd number. So this is going to be our 4 right here. Science, we know that that's not going to be a 4. Can't have an 8. So that means this is going to be our 2, 1. Um, this can't have a 8 or a 9. So um, this has to be an our 8. And this has to be our 9. Still not sure about the 7, so I'm just going to kind of leave that there. Um, but this is 9. This is 7. This is 9. Again, we don't know if this is... I think this clue was only to kind of deduct that 8, so I think we're not going to kind of clean that up yet. That's fine. That's fine. Um, I think this puzzle is going to be pretty much done now, now that we have that figured out. So I think the rest of it's going to be really Sudoku. So let's go ahead and, and uh, fill in some, some stuff and, and do some Sudoku. So I was going to say Sudoki Doki. I was going to say Okie Doki, but with Sudoku. Sudoki Oki. I don't know what the hell I'm thinking. Um, <laughs> all right. <laughs> oh man, okay. Uh, uh, la la la. Alright, um, so this has to be an odd number. So this is going to be a 5 or a 7. Um, oh, yeah, the 7's in here. Duh! So this has to be a 5. Um. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Um, okay, so this is going to be a 6 or a 7. It's going to be a 1 or a 3. And... It's 1. It's going to be a 3. And... A 6, I want to say. Yep, 6. All right, cool. Can I do anything else before I start deducting those? 
Um, I don't think so. Okay. All right. So the only way that this could be a seven when we were talking this through, because this is five digits, right? Three, four, five. Yep. So it would have, to, if there was a seven, the lowest that it can be is one plus two plus three plus four, which is 10. Um, so 10 plus 7, that would be 17. However, we have a 5 in here. So that means that this is a 6. And since you can't repeat digits in a, in a, in a um, thing in the job. I don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, since you can't repeat it on the thing in the job, uh, this has to be the 3. And then this is the 1. And then it kind of formulates there. Oh, my bad, my bad, my bad. I pressed the wrong button. I was thinking that I was on my phone, apparently, because you know how the number pad is, like, switched. Um, okay. Get rid of the one. Carry the... Carry the three. Um, okay. Ooh, we have another, another thing right there. That's cool. All right, so we are going to fill in a couple things here, just to kind of... Uh, and again, I'll clean it. I, I could see already that the five is going to mess this up, but um, I'll clean it in just a second. So this is a four, five, um, six. And again, I was going to clean the five. Um, so that means that the rest of this has to be uh, two. Again, I'll clean it. Uh, two, seven, eight, nine. Okay, we don't know yet how this is going to go out. But we also know these digits, these digits too. So, um, so this is three. This is going to be where our fours are. This is going to be where our fives are. And this is going to be where our sixes are. Um, ah, did the phone thing again. Sevens are, and then the eight. So, since the 3 and the 5 is seeing that, that's our 8. Blah, blah, blah. Alright. I think what's going to be cool here is, like, it's going to have something to do with um, the 3 cages here. Um, it's going to be... I like this puzzle. This puzzle's like freaking gnarly. Um, okay. So I think that's all we can do Sudoku wise, other than finishing this down here. Um, but up here, I don't think we can do anything. Um, Yeah, two, eight, three threes there, four, six. All right, cool. All right. So we know that there has to be a seven in here. And because we know that there has to be a seven in here, um, and the only reason right, why I want to make that point is that this can't be a, a 4 and a 6. So, if there's a 7, uh, let's pretend it's a 4. So, 7, 4, it's 11. So then we have either 13 or we have 19. What about 7, 6? That means it would be 13. So, that would either be a 17 um, or a, uh, 13 plus 8 is 20, and yeah, that's not going to have any or here, but it did have a 15 here when I did that math, so... In other words, this can't be a... 
It can't be a 672. Does that matter though? Let me think about it this way. So, if this is a 2, and we know that there's a 7, 9, this would either be 17, sorry, 15, or 13. Do we have a 13 somewhere? Oh, wait. Oh, wait, no, this is a 2. No, we don't have a 13. Then what's the point of that? Can't be the sum then. Okay. It's not the sum. What about the four and the six? Because the four and the six, like this thing is like I, I, there's something with the four and the six, maybe. It's just weird that the cage is here. Um, okay. If let's just say this six. And there is a six here, let's just say. That means this would be our six, and that would be our four. Oh! Or maybe not. <laughs> no, that never mind. Never mind. Never mind. That didn't work the way I thought it would. Um, this is a four. This is a four. Let's just say that this is a let's just say that this is a four. Since we know that this has to be a four, four would have to go here. If this is a six instead, where does the four go? It would have to go here. That works. What in the world? Am I like, did I like, am I seeing the rules correctly? What, where's the... Yeah, no, everything's good. Uh, what? What am I missing here? What am I missing? Okay. Two and the eights are good. What about five? Fives are gonna go here. Same thing as threes. We know that the seven has to be in there. I okay, hold on. If 
if this is green, I know that this has to be one of the greens. I don't think it's going to matter here. <sighs> Should I label it? Okay, I'll just label it. Okay, greens are, are going to be here. This is the important part. Meaning that this here is always going to be here. It's going to be one of these. There wasn't a 13, right? 11. Eleven and fourteen. The rest of them are seventeen and Fifteen. I don't see this breaking I do have the right numbers right yeah that works that works that works works This whole puzzle is done. There, there literally has to be some small thing I'm missing. I don't understand. I'm literally not understanding this. Okay. Maybe you have to walk it through. Like, this is, if this is a four... Let's just say it's a four. Four plus seven is eleven. Plus two could be thirteen. We have no other thirteen ones here. Yep. Could be 19 and there's no other 19 ones so yeah that's that's working so this could be a two or eight whatever but let's just say four this is a four this would be our four this would be our six we would have the six here which also has the five Five is here, six is here, seven, eight. 
Am I, did, did I accidentally put a wrong digit somewhere? Like, like honestly, I, let me just make sure these are right. 11, 13, 16, 17, 17, 17, 14, 15, 17, 10, 8, 15, 14, 12, 13, 15, 15, 15, Eight. What in the world? I'm, uh... Like, should I, like, just fill in? Should I just, like, try to fill in the numbers and see if something, like, counteracts it? Uh... I think I'm going to have to do that. Okay. Okay, I'm going to get rid of the 7 here. Because we know that the 7 has to be in there. But I'm going to um, use those pencil marks as like a... Like if this, just so you can kind of see visually what I'm doing. Because I'm going to kind of go through the board. So like if this is a 7, that would make this a 7. It would make this a 6. Uh, that's the wrong way of approaching it because I it, it could still go either way. Let's do this. If this is a four, yeah, let's do that. This is a four. I make that the three, that the four. Yeah, this would be better. Um, which make that the four, make that the six. So that makes that the seven. Seven, six, six, five, three, five, and then. Um, Seven plus four is uh, eleven. So it's either going to be thirteen. What are you guys doing? I know. My cat's talking to me. Hi. Um. So it's going to be eleven. Uh. So that's either going to be a nineteen or whatever. So that doesn't help at all. So that worked. I mean, it doesn't tell me what 
these are. There must be another cage here, but like, I don't know enough to do that cage yet. Yeah, I don't know enough to do that cage yet. So that worked, right? Um... It totally worked. I don't I don't understand it. Okay. Okay. Anyways. Maybe it worked because I was the solution. Let's try another route. Can this be a 6? If this is a 6, It means our seven has to be here. Uh, this is not gonna show anything. Ah, uh, this is not gonna show anything. Because then that can be a four. What am I missing? There's something weird with this. That's not working. Okay. <clears throat> what did I... Okay. We know that this can't be... What was it? A two... Six, seven? Because then it would be a 15. Are we sure that there's not a 13 around here? Like... 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 If there was a 13 cage, like, this would solve my issue. Um, okay. 4 plus... 4 plus 7 plus 2 is 13. So... Oh. Okay, again, this can't be possible, what I'm showing right here. Because then it would equal 15. So that is not possible. So the only, only other way that this can be a 2 is for this to be... Not a six, not a six, but a four. If this is the case, this would make it this a six, that the four, two, eight, that doesn't matter. Um, I'm just going to label this and I'm going to see if something like wacky happens when I do this. Um, four, three, three, five, five, six. That works. Two, eight,
I need to read the rules again. There's... I'm not understanding this. Correctly place... Blah, blah, blah. There's 15 cages. 15 cages! Oh my god! That's it, that's it, that's it. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Get rid of this. Okay. That's... This is literally the what what I've been doing. I can't. I should have read the rules a little bit. Okay, so there's 15 cages. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Perfect. Yes. Okay. That means that there is a cage here. Oh my god, okay. This might do it. This, this is definitely gonna do it. Okay. Why is that important? Um, now we have another cage that can't be equal to something else. Perfect. Okay. So, can this, in, in other words, if this is a four, This can't be a 6, because then it would be a 10, and we have a two-digit thing. And this 8 plus 3 is an 11, and so 4 plus 7 is 11. So 4 plus 6, 10. 4 plus 7, 11. We already have those cages here, so this can never be a 4. 3. Yes, it worked! Oh my god! And perfect, okay. There it is, there it is, guys. Holy hell... Seriously, to the ends of the earth, of all that is is uh, humanity and all that stuff. Let me see. Um, this can't be a 2 because then it would be a 15, right? So this is the 8. Um, but holy heck, that was insane. I should have read that last rule. My god. I'm so angry at myself that, like, that, that, that. I'm so angry at myself. <laughs> we should have got that way earlier. Ah, but it was fun. It was great. Thank you, uh, James Sinclair, for making this 15 cages. And the title of the thing is called 15 Cages. Oh my god, why did... <laughs> it was literally in the name. The name. That was a really good puzzle. At the very end, I was like, I didn't understand what was happening. I was like, 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 there's something small I'm missing. Like, I don't, I don't understand. What am I missing? And it was just literally the biggest rule of the whole thing that's in the title of the thing. There are 15 cages and I'm only counting 14 right now. So obviously my freaking goodness. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching another, uh, FBW champion playing Sadoks. Um, that was a lot of fun. Um, I I always love doing these puzzles. Hopefully you guys um, did the puzzle as well and probably have a lot more success in this last portion. Um, but no, that portion of the um, puzzle, my goodness, it got me. It stumped me. You got me. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> oh my God. That was good. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I'll see you guys next time. Please like, subscribe, all that stuff. And every other Sunday, I will post another um, video of uh, me doing Sudoku. Stay tuned. It's lots of cool um, and lots of stuff on this channel for you to enjoy. Hopefully, you're enjoying some of the content. Um, again, appreciate you guys as always. Have a good one. 15 cages! <laughs>